So this is the BioSand water filter, and it's different from a slow sand filter in that there's also a bio layer that generates. And what the user does is they lift the lid up, they pour the water on top. The water can be from a river, a well, a lake, or a pond, or rainwater. And then they put the lid back on, and inside is a diffuser plate. And the diffuser plate allows the water to rain down gently inside the filter. And at the point where the sand meets the new water coming in, a naturally occurring bio layer develops. It's this darker layer that's forming right here. And we want to keep that layer active and wet. That's where the microorganisms begin to consume each other. That's their process called predation. As the, sand, as the water trickles down through the layers of the sand, a slight electrostatic charge develops. And that's because this sand isn't any ordinary sand, it's sand from a crusher. So it's got sharp angles on the sand, and the viruses get trapped. Furthermore, no worms or other insects can make it through because of the size of the sand grains, which is 0.7 millimeters. Additionally, as the water filters further down, there's no light, no food, and no oxygen, so there's a further die-off of contaminants. Eventually, the water makes its way through the layers of the pebbles. The pebbles are of two sizes, but the main function is to support the weight of the sand above. Eventually, the water comes up a tube through the process of gravity and comes back out through this outlet tube. We teach the end user to make sure that they put a lid on the safe water, the container that's catching the water, so that this water is not recontaminated. Children have a tendency to wash their hands in there or to you know, put some fruits or vegetables, so we want to make sure we don't recontaminate the clean water that has come out. Um, this filter is good for 84 liters per day, which serves a family of 10 people. Um, or in a school, it can serve 70 school children during the school hours. The filter is made of concrete material. And because of that, um, it also has a refrigerating effect. And again, the life is 30 years because it's a very um, durable container. Um, it's three feet high and one foot by one foot on the base. So the flow rate comes out faster at a 0.5 liters per minute. And um, this filter is being used in 66 countries. Um, it's been very well received. It's, it's really going back to nature. We're using nature to purify nature. And that's what makes this so special. There's no electricity involved. There is no cartridges or membr membranes to replace. Um, it's an ideal, low cost, highly effective solution for rural India. And um, our organization comes here to, to train NGOs and to really spread this, uh, this word and this vision so that we can um, get this into villagers faster. Um, right now we have trained 90 NGOs and we have another big training program coming up of another 40 NGOs. Um, another additional component is our follow-ups. It's very important to do follow-up visits at the site itself to pre and post test the water, to get some feedback from the end user as to the, uh, their health, um, their children's health, um, how they like the filter, if they're using it, how they like the taste. So we generate reports based upon that and we, um, we then you know, follow through on a, a semi-annual basis. And um, we are, because there's a big demand right now, we're really trying to seek some, some support from uh, you know, corporations and CSR programs, rotary clubs, that will help us to help NGOs to disseminate this at a faster rate.